Hello folks, I'm AppBuilder and welcome back to the next episode in our series of tutorials on the Minecraft mod Inventory Profiles Next and specifically today we're taking a look at Configuration Profiles which are a super handy way of keeping your hotbar organized. This is a pretty complex topic so the video will be broken down into chapters to help you out. That's enough of an intro, let's dive right on it. We have three ways of getting into the config menu for IPN, we can hit R plus C or if we have mod menu installed, we can click on the mods button and we can click on configure here next to inventory profiles next, or if you click on it, there's also a configure button up here in the top right hand corner. All three options take you to the exact same place. Now that we're in the mod menu, let's have a look at edit profiles on the left hand side. We just click on that and then we've got nothing here because it's all blank probably like yours will be, but I just wanted to quickly talk about the open profiles for current server. It's worth mentioning that profiles are per server or world if you're in single player, but I will show you later on how you can copy a profile from one world to another. While we're here, let's take a quick look at hotkeys and we'll scroll down to profiles. These are all set to the default keys, so they should be the same for you. If one of these was lit up, we would know that it's been changed and we could just hit reset. The one I just want to talk about is save the current state as saved profile, this R plus P. We are going to be using that one later, so remember that one. This will only work when you're in the inventory. So if you're just running around the world and you hit R plus P, it's not going to do anything. You've got to be in the inventory. A profile. I've gone ahead and set my hot part exactly as I like it. I'm just going to open my inventory now, and you can see I've got my sword, my pickaxe, my carrots, and it also saves your armor and your offhand as well. So get everything set exactly as you want it. It's going to ignore all this stuff. Don't worry about the actual inventory here, just the hot bar, the armor, and the offhand. When you've done that, if you remember back to the hotkeys, the one I pointed out, we're going to do R plus P. And you can see in the bottom left hand corner created a new saved profile. We are 50% of the way there. Exit out of the inventory. We're going to open the config menu. So R plus C. And we're going to go to edit profiles on the left hand side here. And we want to open the profiles config. So just click on that. What that will do is open the config in your default text editor. For me, it's notepad. I can just turn off the spell check here. Just bear with me. There we go, that's a bit easier to see. So you can see that's basically saved my profile in text form. So we're gonna keep it basic at the moment. We just need to give this a name. So where it says profile saved, we wanna change saved and give it a name. Do not have any spaces in this. So I'm gonna call mine main profile. And it'd be good to remember this. You'll see why in a moment. And then I'm gonna save it. That's on Windows Control plus S, or you can do file and save. And the last thing we're going to talk about, it's going to be more important later on, but activate hot one. What this means is when you apply this profile, it will activate quick, quick slot number one. So for me, that's going to be my sword. You can change that if you want it to be a different one. Here, you can just call that hot two. And when you apply the profile, that's going to activate my pickaxe for me. But anyway, hot one. When you've done that and you've saved it, Let's go back to the game. We left it in the menu, so we're just going to escape out of that. And we're going to do R plus Y, and that will reload the config. Or you can just exit your game or server and reload back in. It does the exact same thing. I'm going to do R plus Y. It's going to do something weird, and that's because I have another mod that's set to the Y key. So we'll just ignore that. I'll do R plus Y. We'll ignore the minimap settings. That's a completely different mod. But you can see in the bottom left-hand corner here, it's reloaded my rules. Like I say, R plus Y, or you can just exit and reload your game. Okay, now if we go back into the config menu, R plus C, we are nearly there, I promise you. We've got the quick profile names. So in here, we actually want to put that same name that we did in the previous step. So for me, that was main profile. And just click out of there. Doesn't matter where. And then the last thing we're going to do, now this isn't strictly necessary, but I like to change my hotkey for this. I only ever have one profile, by the way. You can have multiple. And again, we'll talk about that in a bit. Go to hotkeys. Scroll down to profiles. We've got all our options here. Now, the, the default way of applying that first quick profile that we just set up there is R plus one. I hate pressing two keys for something that I use as much as this. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to set a different key. I use the N key and then I'm going to click out of there. So that's how you change that key if you need to. And then we're going to escape out of here. 
I'm just going to go quickly into my inventory like this. I'm going to get rid of all this. Boom. And then I'm going to hit N. Or if you haven't changed it, R plus one. But for me, N. And boom, that has just applied everything. It's put everything into my profile. I don't know if you saw it, but it also activated the sword. Let's just do that once more. And I'm going to change to like my bow. So that's really clear. And I'm just going to turn off mini HUD rendering so you can see the bow. I'm going to press N again. And you see, it's automatically gone to my sword. It's sorted my hotbar for me and it's activated my sword. And that is super useful. You can also do this in the inventory. So if, uh, for example, I haven't got any more of these, but if you could, wanted to, you can cycle through them or you can just, let's move that. You can click this main profile button. And that is how you set up and activate your very first profile. And as I said, it is super, super useful. And if you're incredibly messy like me, it's so, so good. So in that previous step, we created our very first very basic profile, but actually this can be much more powerful than that. So let's talk about some of the additional things that we can do and let's look at our pickaxe first. Now, I don't know about you, but once I'm into sort of late game, I tend to have two pickaxes. Now I tend to keep this in my ender chest for the most part and I have my silk touch and I have my fortune pick. Now we set that profile up before and we did it with the silk touch pick. Now if I put my, actually let's just put the fortune one in there and let's just put that there. Now if I apply the profile, that's going to put my silk touch pick back into the slot there. Okay, all good. But what about if for some reason I'm using my fortune pick, I put my silk touch in there, put my fortune there, and then I apply that profile. I hit the N key as I set it up in the previous step. I've applied it. You can see it said main profile there, but the pickaxe didn't get selected. How do we fix that? We want it to pick whatever netherite pickaxe we have in our inventory. Well, that's nice and actually simple. We need to go back to that config file. So if we do R plus C, go to edit profiles, and we want to open that profiles config, we're going to click on that now. And there we go. We've got the netherite pickaxe and you can see it's got all these enhancements or enchantments here rather. And actually the nice simple way to do this, I mean, we could just get rid of silk touch here and that would work. So if we did that from the comma to the, uh, the end of the quotation marks there for that, that should work. Or actually what happens if we've got lots of different picks? Well, why don't we just get rid of all of that? So it just says netherite pickaxe. And what that's going to do is pick your most powerful netherite pickaxe. We're just going to save that. So control plus S or file and then save. And we're going to go back to our game. Here we go. And we're going to do R plus Y again just to reload it and ignore the mini map, as I said before. So let's just check. We've got our fortune pick in here. Our silk touch is in there. We're going to hit the N key, which I set up before. It's R plus one by default. But I hit the N key and this time, it has picked my fortune pick. So that is super powerful and you can do that for all your tools. The next thing I'm going to show you is how we can have lists of items. And this is quite useful in two scenarios. The first scenario where you might use this is with tools. So for example, early game, you have a wooden pickaxe, a stone, a iron, diamond, and then netherite. You could have that list of items so that when you apply the profile, it doesn't matter what stage of the game you're in. It just puts the correct pickaxe into your into your inventory. Also works with food. So, for example, when I set this up, I used golden carrots. So let's just move those out. Let's apply the profile. Perfect. I get food in slot number three. Let's imagine I don't have golden carrots. I've only got baked potatoes and I apply my profile. Nothing happens. Be much better if I could have like my list of food and it just applies them in the order that I've got them. So let's go back into our config menu, R plus C. Let's click on profiles config. We're back in the config file now. And here where it says golden carrot under hot free, if we highlight that, control plus C to copy it, enter for a new line, tab in, and then control plus V to paste. What we need to do is change this and it's pretty self-explanatory most of the time. We want baked potato, so instead of a space, it's an underscore and we're just going to save that and that'll work with all the different food types. So control plus S to save or, or file plus save. And then we're going to go back into our game. We are going to exit out of that 
menu there and we are going to do R plus Y. We're going to ignore the minimap because that is a completely different mod. It's just because I have that set to Y. That's reloaded all my rules. Now, if I apply the profile, I've only got potatoes in right now. Let's put the potatoes in. Superb. And let's just swap that around, make sure we haven't broke anything. If I do N, it's going to put the carrots in there. And if I have both in there, it should pick the carrots. Perfect. So you can see how that works and you can do the same with tools. So let's go ahead and create a second profile because maybe you do different things. Maybe you want a building profile. Maybe you want a nether profile. So let's open up the inventory and let's sort this out. So let's say when I go in the nether, I'm going to do a lot of flying. So I want the rockets first. I'm probably going to be fighting with ghasts and mobs and things. So let's put carrots so I can get food. And let's talk about ghasts again. Maybe I need my bow because I need to hit them a bit more. So maybe in the nether, I, my pickaxe isn't maybe as important. So let's create another profile. This is going to be profile number two. We're going to do R plus P to save the profile. And you may have saw them when I hit the R key, it did actually sort it, but don't worry about that. It ignores those. But now we have a second profile and we've got to do the same as before. So if we do exit out of there, R plus C to open our config, go to edit profiles, Click on the profiles config and now we have two profiles in here and we've got to do something that we did before. We've got to change saved and give it a name. I'm going to call this one nether profile. There we go. We can take, take out all these uh, enchantments as we did before. Anything you want. I'm going to leave it as hot one. Actually, no, I'm going to put it as hot two this time for the purposes of this video. So change that to hot two. I'm going to save it. Control plus S. And then we're going to go back into our game and um, we're just going to exit out of the config menu there and do R plus Y to reload. Ignore my minimap that if you haven't got a uh, zero minimap, that won't happen for you. And then we're going to go back into the config. There we go. We called it nether profiles. We're going to set that up there. So you could have more than three profiles. You just want to have three of them set up for your, your quick selections here and boom. And if we just look at the hotkeys again, so select and apply next profile is R plus Z. So if I do R plus Z, there you go. It's changed to my nether profile. And if I do it again, R plus Z, it's changed my main. Look how powerful that is. Isn't that awesome? If I do R plus two, which is the default to load up the second quick profile. Actually, if I load up my main profile and then do R plus two, that also switches it and you'll also be able to do it from here as well. Super, super useful. Just a quick couple of tips about the config file. This is for 1.21 and above. If you are playing an earlier version of the game, your config file when you create it will look different. That's fine. Follow the format that's created by the version that you're playing. Don't copy what's on my screen. The second tip is Less is better when it comes to the enchantments. So if, for example, you die and you've got a temporary netherite sword and you've got slightly different enchantments on it, having all these in is going to break that auto profile. So try and get rid of the ones that aren't critical. Keep it nice and neat like we did for the pickaxe here. Next tip I want to show you is how we apply a profile from this server or this world to another world. I mentioned it earlier in the video. I think it's been a long recording. If we open up the config menu and go back up to mod settings here, we can open the main config folder for inventory profiles next. So we just click on that. This will open that config folder and I'm just going to make that a bit larger. And there we go. So that server was the ab fielder server. You can come and join it, by the way, come join my discord. So we'll just double click on that folder there. And it's the profiles v2.txt that we created. All you'd need to do is right click on that, click on copy, and we can go back up one level and copy it into the world that you want. So for example, this is just my test world. I paste it in there, ignore the name. It is 1.21. I'm not gonna break my, uh, my game there. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You just copy and paste it across from one world to the next. The last tip that I want to show you before we end this video is that there is a wiki at inventory hyphen profiles hyphen next. You know what? I'll put it down in the description below and you can see it on my screen there. But there is a wiki and this is going to tell you everything that I've told you in the video. So incredibly useful if you find the video a bit quick.
quick or what have you, you can come back here and refer to the wiki. You can also get to this from like Modrinth from the inventory profiles next if you can't find it in my description. Anyway, folks, I hope you have found this video super useful. For now, though, that's all I have time for. I'm Ab Fielder. Goodbye.